Hi, I'm the Wandering Newbie, and it's time for more Record Keeper. Today, we have a, another FF1 event, but this one, a real FF1 event, with a really cool remix in this. Uh, yeah, bring to the forefront uh, The Thief, <laughs> Final Fantasy 1, to go along with Master Monk. So, yeah, it seems like FF1 events will just keep introducing. Um, new classes as characters. I'm alright. Been having some trouble sleeping in the new place. But overall... Pretty okay. So yeah. Uh, Lich here will haste himself at the start of the fight. Uh, you can bring a dispel which will deal with a lot of this. But, uh... Yeah, lower level players I would definitely recommend bringing the Dispel. You don't want... this boy to be hasted. Maybe be prisoner? Interesting, okay. Didn't know that about that USB, because I'm bad. And I can't memorize everything. It's always really funny to me because FF1 had no water spells, really, and ice, and lightning, and fire, but, like, no water, so they gave Kraken lightning spells, which just seems weird to me. That is not right. I remember when I first saw these dances in Japan, and it was like, these moves are stupid. <laughs> like, almost immediate thought.
You're right, Break Strike would work, but as you stated, there are no spell blades in FF1. So, an unfortunate thing in that regard. Really what I should have done is brought many copies of that move and just had everybody do it. <laughs> Even people who can't. Everybody gets break. This is the goof, let me just do the goof. Oh, this is the worst. I mean, it's it's a reference to the original Final Fantasy 1, where Team Matt was vulnerable to instant death. That's that is the joke here. Fortunately the game does, insists on not letting me have a goof. So, we'll give myself self a little bit more resistance. There it is! Yeah! Hey! The thing! <laughs> yeah! It only took forever! Ah. More time than probably would have taken to just kill the boss. So, yeah, notable scene here from a popular game FF1 of the Warrior of Light betraying the party, turning against you. Final days in the land of chaos. Very tumultuous moment for most people. None could believe the events that occurred that day. I brought a magic breakdown to this fight and I don't really know why. I think I put this party together about two minutes before I started the stream. Oh, and he's vulnerable to uh the stun. So, he just doesn't get to do anything. Man, I joke about plus fights, but it's been a while since I found one threatening. Which is sad, sad honestly, for me. Uh, new, excuse me. Um, newer players obviously still have problems getting past these. 
But even in this day and age, you can just bring an arcane to these fights and be done. Alright, move one, we taunt. This, I think, is gonna heal, but that's alright, we didn't do that much damage anyway. Yeah, didn't even heal him the fool either. Planned. And with that, we are pretty much invincible. Garland does get some magic moves later on. Uh, but that's about it. Case in point. But really, we're waiting for him to get pretty low. For the, uh... A very expert maneuver to occur. Alright boy, come on. I'm pretty sure you're forced to use this move at least once. Yeah, I bet you that's what ends up happening. Then again, he hasn't moved, which might mean he transitioned and reset his ATB. Or it has a long charge. Here it is. Good. <laughs> uh, powerful. Yeah, uh, a very fun thing a lot of people learned going into this a little later. Uh, Garland here absorbs Meltdown. He just does, he has enough. Uh, absorb, like, because Meltdown does three of the crystal elements. So, and uh, Garland absorbs the crystal elements. So Garland absorbs Meltdown.
Don't forget seven, Zane Zero. Six, seven, and eight. Everyone does summon. Also this. Just have a back row party that only hits front row. <laughs> there's... There's the real move. There's the er move right there. We do a big move. You only hit front row. Goodbye. Alright, girls. Light them up. Summons aren't powerful, they say. Two unwieldy. Not enough uses. Who needs uses when they're dead? Okay. I've gotten ahead of myself. I could be hitting harder. I don't have anyone for mate in this. Oh wait, I do have somebody for mate. God, I forget about selfie. She counts. Selfies for mate. I yell. Who'd have thought? Selfies from Kingdom Hearts. Correct. Galaxy Brain. Uh, I wouldn't be using uh, Legend Materia for a ultimate fight either way. So this will do. Instead, we get days and days. Of just summon casts. Luckily, they, can, they still have an Ice Storm that they can use, but it's not the Ultimate version. The Ultimate version is the one you need to worry about. That's what happens if you kill one or the Delta gets too big. Delta being difference in HP levels. Um, because if that Delta gets too big, then they can use Ultimate Ice Storm, which, while it doesn't hit very hard, uh, causes Paralyze. So, yeah. Let's just not deal with that. That's a no-go. We don't <laughs> we don't want to deal with a uh, party-wide paralyze. That's probably a bit much. Slam the shield. Shield. <laughs> uh, having that move will never not be funny. Big shield. Like, there's a lot of things that I fill. There's, like, you know, quadcast parts. Zell with crit and all that. Uh, turn one shield slam may still be one of the most satisfying moves I can do in the game. It's just really funny and super good every time. Oh my god, use your haste, you're, you coward. You're like already 
a good ways to death. Alright, see? Yep, there it is. Ah, fuck. Oh. Okay, no, I actually freaked up. I did not slot in for the paralyze. Oh well, we'll be fine. <laughs> what was Tyro if not only stat downs? See, we just need to get double cast of Curata and we're fine. Especially next turn, which is where two of the characters might pop off. We come back in. Slash is gonna help out in these final phases a lot. We'll get this Miracle Veil up and going, and that should pop off right before the damage becomes unwieldy. Yeah, like Zell's getting really low. Alright, so that's the wasted turn. And then we should get Divine Veil off. Miracle Veil, Divine Veil. Look. FF14 has poisoned my mind. Not even going to. Hey, Tyro, welcome back. Uh oh, guess what? We lost. Who's ready for Danger Mode? Luckily, that's a piercing move. And yes! Come back, gang! Oh no! Resmo! Resmo, please! Nice! <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid, I had no right <laughs> I had no right to pull that off Alright, a very solid start. Uh, I do want to get this out immediately.
And we're gonna wait for that magic up because honestly, numbers may be an issue in this one. We'll see. I was figuring that numbers from the, uh, that numbers were going to be higher in my initial testing. Well, you, okay, she's getting pretty much the same numbers that others were. But obviously these number their, their numbers are going to go down much slower. Oh, Jesus, Matoya. Well, at least blank carries his weight. Also, hi, we've uh, chanced into high frame rate town. I don't know if that's coming across on the stream because I stream at 30 frames, but uh, welcome to high frame rate. Yeah, I, you, I, mm, I looked up once the deal with the high frame rate stuff, and I just don't remember. I mean, my Matoya... ...isn't hitting element. Man, I really wish I had brought Ruinga on her ability too, because I thought damage was going to be higher <laughs> than it is. Uh oh. I mean, the, the the long and short of it is, and I don't think this is a, a big shocker to a lot of people. Uh, Record Keeper isn't a very well-programmed game. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, like, they're weak. I could go for the Danger Strat, or I could have a refresh and soul break. Make sure we don't run out. There we go. We found a use for Matoya. Like, I had done a discussion with, uh, you know, friend of the stream, frequently on the multiplayer videos, uh, Rob, um, about just why Record Keeper has so many problems lately, and apparently, like, there's some lawsuit with Oracle, and they, and... Android had to take out something that they were using from Oracle that was also being used by Record Keeper. So, that's why that weird security check has been happening lately. Which is just unfortunate, because the game was okay. I'm not going to say fine, but it was okay uh, before then. And now it just has so many problems. Who knows, maybe the PC version will fix that.
I appreciate this fight's like very slow build up. Gives me time to think. <laughs> what has been the hardest multiplayer fight to date? Oh, there's a question. There's been a lot, like, for reference, the recent image that I used for the multiplayer that we just did was multiplayer 72 or something like that. So, hmm. Nemesis wasn't really too hard for us. Shadow Lord was really complex timing. Yeah, there was Tom Berry too. Tom Berry was really rough. Um, now I'm just thinking. Osmo was real easy. Uh, Mandragora's was pretty hard. Like, yeah, I, Mandragora is probably top tier. Up there, Shadow Lord required some really intense timing. I don't think we had that much trouble with Unalaska. Also, oops. Let me just uh, do that. I mean, the real thing I could do if I had them here, I don't have my externals uh, here. Those are still in my old place. There's something I still got to move over. Is I could go through them and find out, track down which multiplayer has the longest video length. Like, of the raw footage, because I actually named those videos something different. Um, so I could go back through and find out. Zell would totally scream fight me. Nobody can convince me otherwise. Why is he? Oh, I know why he's not doing too much damage. He's not triggering his passive. Um, it's because uh, he... I don't have the Magicite equipped that gives him the crit boost. Yeah, I usually, whenever I'm running Zell's passive, or Zell's USB, I have uh, Isgabind equipped to give me that uh, the the crit boost. Yeah, the I can't. I I, I think that uh, Phantom Train gave us trouble. That was a pretty big one. I it's just yeah. If you're talking ones that stick out in my memory a lot, it was. That one Mandragora, the the Apocalypse Double Plus, because I don't think Ultros gave us that much problem. That was the other Apocalypse Double, Double Plus. Um, but definitely the Mandragoras, and uh, what's it called? The um, Shadow Lord. Shadow Lord was some extreme timing.
That's it for the FF1 event. I look forward to the next one in a year. Uh, next time, we already know, because it's already fucking landed, we have Final Fantasy 13. So, I'll see you next time.